Hi, I'm Mark Alfonso, President of PLC Electronic Solutions Limited. Today I'd like to introduce you our new product, which is a single channel wireless lens motor controller, which works directly off your iPhone or iPod Touch. And this allows directors of photography and camera assistants to freely move around the film set and control multiple cameras from a single device. For our demonstration here, we have an industry standard digital lens motor, a seven pin Limo motor cable, our f-stop wireless receiver, and a power cable to power it anywhere from 10 to 30 volts. Upon connecting your lens motor, you'll notice that the lens is calibrating to its end stops. Once the calibration is finished, the green connected status will come up. And now you have wireless control of your lens, very precise to whatever stop you wish to have. Also, you can put focus or zoom marks here instead. In order to limit the range of travel of the motor, you can simply use hand gestures to go between the two settings you want. Also, you can change between multiple cameras simply by pressing the camera button at the top. And with your multiple cameras, in order to view your current settings, you simply just turn it sideways. In order to pick from different lenses, you have 16 user configurable lenses that you can choose from, which you can program in either your focus marks, your zoom marks, or your iris marks. Our lock feature here allows us to lock the screen so that there's no inadvertent changes. Here we've just installed a new lens, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to enter it into the library and calibrate. First thing we do is we pick from one of our blank lens names. And we change the name, since this is a 100 millimeter red prime, to 100 millimeters. And now, inside the gray box, we enter the stop numbers. So 1.8 and so on. After that, you have all of your stop numbers in there. Click the Done button and hit Calibrate. And right now we can see that our 1.8 mark lights up red. So what we do is we slide until we see a 1.8, okay? Once we see 1.8 on our lens, we hit Set Mark and it turns to black. And now we can simply calibrate all of our markings the same way, 16, and lastly, 22. When we hit save, our 100 millimeter prime comes up with all of our lens markings. And every time we put this lens on from now on and recalibrate the motor, the markings will come up precisely. So as you can see, we're right on an eight stop. So also through the application, we can change the torque of the motor simply by going into the calibrate menu again, pressing torque. And from here, this menu, we can actually increase or decrease the torque going to the motor. And we would use this for stiffer lenses. We've designed our products to be simple to use and reliable. For more information, visit our website or call us on our toll-free number.